Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. Today we're going to look at a graphics mod that I love for Star Citizen, Xenthor's Reshade for Sweet FX. So what is it? Sweet FX is a graphics and shader injector for games. It can add all sorts of graphics tweaks and post-processing effects. Xenthor's Reshade is a, a preset for Sweet FX, basically made to improve the look of Star Citizen. So we can see here a comparison of basically what it does. It's actually a little less dark than this, and you can tweak gamma and brightness if it's not up to your particular specification. Uh, basically, it adds definition, vibrance, and detailing. On the left, you can see original Star Citizen, as it were, and on the right, you can see it with the uh, Sweet FX injector. I'll keep on moving it up across so you can see it. So for me, it makes Star Citizen look a lot less washed out and adds some great ambience. The detail and vibrance of the fire extinguisher and the drinks machine there really stand out with that mod on. Let's have a brief look at it in game before we go over how to install it and to get it. Um, here's the self land hanger normally and here it is with the Xenthor's reshade. I think it looks absolutely amazing. Everything looks a lot less washed out. It's got a much better vibrance to it. Um, the ambience here is just a lot better and ships and objects just look so much more detailed. So I'm gonna use this basically for all of my videos from now on. It gives a really nice look and I think it looks absolutely great for Star Citizen. All the links to download are on screen and in the description. First, you want to grab Sweet FX 2.0 with Reshade 1.1.0, and you want to extract that to your Cloud Imperium Games folder, Star Citizen Public Bin 64. You want to put it all in that Bin 64 folder. Then you want to download Xenthor's Reshade and extract to the same place, overwriting any files. So all of it's going to live in your Bin 64 folder in Star Citizen Public, or if you wanted to put it in a PTU test, then it would go into to the test uh, bin 64. Though it might have some issues with that, we'll have to test it and see in the future. It will now self-inject into Star Citizen every time you run the game. Now, I made a copy of my bin 64 folder before installing SweetFX, so if you want to uninstall it, you can just delete the bin 64 with SweetFX in it, and then replace it with the one you copied earlier. That's the best, simplest way to install uninstall it. So I did find a couple of issues running this mod. Um, so some programs like EVGA Precision cause Star Citizen with SweetFX to crash. So I use EVGA Precision to overclock my monitor and my graphics card. So it's a little annoying that I have to turn it off. Um, I suspect it could have some problems with other programs that use overlays like that as well. Um, but I did find that you could combine it with D or VSR, which is um, downscaling resolutions. So you could render at 4K using D or VSR, uh, for example, and then downscale it to 1080p. Uh, you can also use custom user.cfg's folders and uh, other graphics tweaks too. Links in the description for more information. I've done various video guides on how to do all of that sort of jazz as well. Um, but if you want a better looking Star Citizen experience, then check out Xenthor's Reshade for Sweet FX and Star Citizen. Um, all links in the description. It is a really, really good job, and I hope we see some more of him in the future, um, especially if this gets tweaked further uh, and improved. I'm really interested in that. Getting Star Citizen little graphics mods at the moment is great when they're done by the community. Um, uh, and yeah, and this is, is pretty damn impressive. Please tell me in the comments below, guys, if this mod's working for you, if you like it, um, if you don't like it, if you prefer the original Star Citizen, if you've got any other tweaks, tips and tricks for making Star Citizen look better, different graphics mods, all that sort of stuff. I'm really interested to know a bit more uh, and to get my Star Citizen looking as best as it possibly can. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe as well. It really does help me, and I will see you in the verse.